So I started playing Persona games when I was around 14 or 15 years of age. But I never got around to playing Persona 3, uh, the original, until I was around 19. And 19 for me was, <laughs> for a lack of better words, a very transitional time period in my life. I feel as though the the ninth year of every sort of age demographic, 19... 29, 39, 49, it always kind of feels as if you have to look back at your life and unless you've made some sort of grandiose transformation, you feel like I'm about to hit this new decade in my my life and I feel unaccomplished. It's very interesting. I have a few acquaintances that are 19 and I see the way that they talk about themselves. They're like, I'm going to turn 20 next year and I haven't done this. I haven't made millions of dollars yet. I haven't done the... Da, 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 da. Look at this person online. They've done this and they've done that. I'm like, yes, girl. They also have like parents who give them $2,000 every single week for allowance Trust me, you're only your first year into adulthood. You don't have to have everything situated. It's okay. You're going to be 20. And it it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's getting into a whole different... That's getting into a whole different conversation. But here I am, sat here at 22, about to be 23. And I am a... I am a similar person to who I was when I was 14 when I first started playing these games, but I'm also fundamentally different as well. And I see that in the way that I go about looking at or interacting with certain characters in these games. Uh, It was very disappointing. I, I went through playing Persona 4 late uh, last year, and it was... It was disheartening, I'll be honest, to see a character that I loved so much when I originally played that game for the first time honestly become one of my most hated characters ever. Maybe that's a bit extreme, but that character went from somebody I considered my virtual best friend to somebody who I don't even think I would want to be in the same room with if they were an actual person. And it's because I've just changed as a person. I wanted to somehow figure out a way how to make this a tweet because I did not think I could ever make a video that could showcase how I feel about this, but have you ever been subscribed to a person who used to post videos on YouTube when you were younger, and then they subsequently stopped posting videos for years, and you kind of forget about them? You know, just going on with life, they kind of go by the wayside, and then years later, they upload again, and it's still the same content that they used to make, but you've just grown so much as a person that you just kind of have to unsubscribe and even though you know that you're not that person that you used to be anymore you still kind of feel shamed of like damn I used to enjoy this person's content but this isn't this isn't for me anymore I've transcended this era in my life and I don't have the same ideologies that that I that made me subscribe to this person in the first place. I I have to leave. I've felt that multiple times with people that I used to subscribe to when I was younger. And they've just uploaded videos recently. I'm just all like... I love the time that we had together. But this relationship just cannot deepen any further. And I know that sounds very parasocial. I'm I'm a very dramatic person. Excuse me. But so here I am playing through Persona 3 Reload and I just have this strong feelings towards people that 
I was either very wishy-washy with when I first played these games to whereas now and I'm just all like, yeah, I don't want to I don't want to be around this character. I don't want to hang out with them during their social link. This character strikes me the wrong way. I don't feel comfortable around this character. And excuse me, I am talking as if they're real people. But it's just so interesting to see the evolution of how I see these characters where I was at the age of 19, which I would consider the the beginning half of my transition into where I am currently mentally to the destination that I am at currently, that I'm still in this figurative car still riding along, but it's also showcasing itself in my actual life. There are certain people that talk about certain things or portray themselves or just talk in certain ways that rubs me the wrong way that I try to stay away from and there are people that I do enjoy being near and I know this is going to sound very strange but this is a first for me being a person who who's come from uh, a place where I would just befriend any and anybody and I felt happy about that and this really isn't the video to talk about this, this sort of topic. But when you have so many people that you're cool with, or when you have so many people that you consider a friend or whatever, you really have no friends at the end of the day, because you're kind of just a malleable sponge of everybody's of everybody's ideals not everyone can be friends with everybody but that's how i used to operate i was i was the person that was friends with any and everybody and i've come to the conclusion well i shouldn't i, I shouldn't say conclusion i've come to the realization that that is just not possible and trying to do that now is just hindering my happiness in my mental state so i'm finding people now that i want to be friends with that I enjoy spending time with and it's giving me this this newfound like peace that I've never felt before this newfound comfortability that I've never had before but unfortunately is that I also have to say goodbye to people of my past it's not that many people mind you but it's enough to make me go Damn, I am I love the time that we had together, but I don't think this relationship can deepen any further as we are just two people on two different planes in life that honestly aren't congruent at all. And it's it feels reminiscent to how I had to of how I love that one character in Persona 4 to whereas now I despise that per I despise that character with an absolute passion. It it's reminiscent of how I was a bit lukewarm on certain characters in Persona 3 when I originally played it to whereas now I'm just all like, yeah, these characters are this specific character. Yeah, I actually don't like him at all. He's pretty annoying. And rubs me the wrong way with the certain th with the certain things that he says and the way he talks about certain people. I guess I'm just gaining more of a back. I, I don't want to say backbone, but it's interesting. Yeah, I think it's just interesting. I just wanted to talk about that. Persona 3 Reload. I'm loving it. I'm having a, an absolute blast. I'm trying to talk about certain concepts in these sort of like commentary videos because I want to make a, a grand Persona 3 video at one point in time. I don't know when it's going to happen. It's not going to happen anytime soon. But I don't want to drag the video down by having too many like real like real real talks in it. So I, I really want to have Ace videos be comedy focused. But anyways... It's been justice. I'll talk to you a lot later. Peace.